This one kind of reminds me about Python's claim of being batteries included. Uh, Mo does a lot of network engineer work, and Python's a pretty decent language for scripting this kind of stuff. A version 4 IP address consists of four numbers separated by a dot. So, for example, Google hosts a DNS server that does those kinds of lookups that I was talking about earlier at 8.8.8.8, which is handy to remember in case your DNS server falls over because you can point at them. On to the Python standard library. It has a module named IP address, which allows you to start with a string version of an IP and get back an object. And then once you've got the object, you can do things with it. For example, if you need to deal with a range of addresses, the IP address object supports addition. Whereas if you had dot notation, you'd have to splice the string and do that yourself. So plus one means get me the next address, which is nice and handy. The Python library supports both applying a mask as well as using what is known as CIDR format to get the same result. If you've ever seen a network range specified with like slash 24 on the end, that's a CIDR format. The Python library has a class for these ranges called IPv4 network. And once you've got a network object, you can use the in operator to see if an address is within it. And you can also iterate over the network object to get all the possible addresses inside of it. Mo's article goes on to show you how to deal with subnets, how to combine address and network objects into interfaces, how to inspect various properties of the address, like is it part of the private network range or not, and more. So if you're a network engineer and you're new to Python, you should check this out because it'll help you solve problems. Or if you're a Pythonista who wants to learn a bit more about networks, this is a good place to start as well.